Vinyl Conversations. Hello, hello, hello. You are tuned into another edition of Vinyl Conversation. We are your hosts. I am Latifa. That is Tamarisha over there. She gave That's up good. the peace sign. <laughs> We'd like to thank you guys for coming tonight, well, this evening on a Wednesday for a special edition of Vinyl Conversations. You know how we do during the week. It's at 6, 6 p.m. Eastern time. You know, on the other side of the, the coast is 9 p.m. Eastern time. But yeah, we get into it. So what we do in Vinyl Conversations is we cover lyrics to specific songs. So tonight, that's what we're going to do. But before we do that, we got to get the disclaimer stuff out. So Facebook, we do not own the rights to this music. It's for entertainment, educational purposes only. Please do not mute us. Don't mute us. We do not own the rights to this music. It is for entertainment purposes, educational purposes, shits and giggle purposes. Maybe that's entertainment only. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So without further ado, please welcome our special guest to the show. JJ Fat is in the building. Please welcome hey. the ladies to Bonner hey. Conversations. Hey. Yes. <laughs> they are here. Please, oh, ladies, oh. thank you for coming. Into if you guys can't, in, each one of you guys introduce yourselves to the group. Hi, okay. my name is Start MPJV. up here with Sasha. <laughs> Go ahead, Sasha. What? They want to start with you. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. You know, I'm so used to you starting. <laughs> <I don't... laughs> yeah, what's up? My name is Sassy C. I'm just one third of the group, JJ FAD. And I'm MCJB, and I am also a member of the group JJ Fad. Hey, yo, yo, it's Baby D. What's cracking? Down with the double <laughs> J F A D. That's what's up. Yes. <laughs> hey, that's what's up. Well, we appreciate you guys coming out and spending your time with us on this Wednesday uh, evening. Thanks for having us. Uh, this is Thank awesome. You. Yeah, so look, this is, you know, it's for the culture here. It's for the culture. <laughs> All right, so look, so without further ado, let's get into let's get into the music. So we're just going to play a little bit, which is probably like under a minute, so we don't get muted by Facebook. <laughs> All right, so. They won't let us live. It. They will not let us live. Lives like us could never be stopped. See, it's three of us, and I know we're fresh. Partly rockers, non stoppers, and our names are deaf. See, the J is for just, the other for jamming. The F is for fresh A and D deaf. Behind the turntables is DJ Train. Mixing aspects, and it's the name of the game. Now, here's a little something about nosy people. It's not real hard, it's plain and simple. Baby D. Baby D. Supersonic. Motors, ratings, rhymes, All right, yeah. Good. <laughs> that, 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 I just want to start out before we get into the lyrics. First of all, guys, that is JJ Fast Supersonic. If you don't know that song, you don't need to be in this group. Like, yeah, go ahead and go somewhere. Like, that, that ain't this ain't it. Um, <laughs> yeah. I just want to say that never in my days did I think that I would be like interviewing JJ Fat like ever like oh. never like he just it's awesome I just want to say that that's Thank awesome you. all right so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go Wait into the, the first go. the first part of it so go ahead Tam you can go ahead and do that Listen, I'm not a rapper, so if any of y'all want to just say the lyric, that'd be great, but I'm going to do my best to, um, yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and say no. Um, uh, I'm just going to say one, one, is, one is for the, uh, I'm just going to say a couple of lines. Um, when you get into the supersonic motivi motivating lines are creative, 
and everybody knows that JJ Fad is devastating. We, we know you like this girl, so you better get girl because we are the home chicks that are rocking your world. Like, first of all, who came up with the title of Supersonic? Go ahead, baby B. Well, Supersonic uh, came uh, actually out of Louisiana, but before we got the Sonics out here, the Sonic Burgers stands here. Um, it was a visit from Louisiana, and it was kind of just a catchy, catchy vibe going. And it was just like in the back of the truck, messing with Sonic Burgers, Super Sonic. Then it just was like, hold up, hold up, hold up. So it turned into a, something completely different. Wait, so this is about the, the, the fast food restaurant with people on the coast. No, it wasn't the phone. That's why first of all, on the West Coast, we didn't even have that. Right. Right. I was from New Orleans. We was in Louisiana, and it was just kind of a catchy, like, you know, as a kid, you just kind of pick up stuff and just, like, run with know, it. So it was just like Sonic, yeah. Sonic, like it was just like the Burger Stand Sonic, but then it came to something different, like Super Sonic, you know. <laughs> and then I had the beat going. Wow, that is of yeah. all the things. Never did I think it was Sonic Burgers, like because yeah, right? <laughs> we didn't have right. that. we didn't have that in the West Coast until later, later. Like some places are just now still later. You know, so later. Kind of like, right. Yeah. Like we would, if that would have been a trivia, we'd have been like, "Yeah, never heard of them." <laughs> that ain't how they got that yeah. song. <laughs> we got that one right. Yeah. Wait. So are so are you guys are All not the way. from? Uh, you guys, <laughs> so you guys are not from Rialto? Yeah, but no, I'm, we I'm, are. I'm originally from New Orleans, though, but raised in Cali. Yeah. Oh, okay. Rialto. So I go back. My All family right. is there, so I go back and forth. All right, yeah. Shout out to the Inland Empire. All right. Shout, Shout out, out to Rialto <laughs> Swapping. I, I, I worked Rialto. there for a bit, you know. We we had a couple we had a couple good summers out there in Rialto, you know, running them streets. Hey. I ain't gonna lie. I'm from San Diego, but we did run them, right. we ran them Inland Empire streets. We did. Yep. All right. We really did. Um, <laughs> Um, <laughs> so how so how did you guys actually get together then? How did the group come together? So we wanted to start a rap group because um, we heard the East Coast had three females, which was everybody knows the Salt and Pepper. So we wanted I wanted to do something for the West Coast. So uh, I used to be best friends with Baby D's cousin, and I was trying to get a group together, and she was like, "Oh, my little cousin can beatbox," and I was like, "No, she can't. No girls can beatbox." And she's like, no, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this girl can be boss. So I was like, all right, all right, let's see. She blew me away, blew me away. I was like, what? <laughs> so me and her met, and then we just held auditions for um, another part of the group in my mom's den, and that's how we all got started. In your wow. mom's den, that's excellent. <laughs> auditions, so like... So like when you say audition, so y'all like put out an ad and people just showed up and rap. Like how did that go though? Was just all of when you were young. It was just mostly word of mouth. We were just letting everybody know we were holding auditions. And not only that, was wow. Like, that time. So you know, you need somebody on a beeper like, hey. Beepers, wow. Beep, 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 and and, 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 and <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you know that's a trick. Listen. I, I'm not going to confirm nor deny I know what a beeper is. <laughs> Major hit me on my pager. Right? So that was the thing. That, 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 that's, that's really awesome that you guys know auditions and came together and did um, Supersonic. That, that, that's um, awesome. So so did you all write this song or, or baby did you just come with the beat? Like how did you guys put it together uh, in that, yeah, we in that sense? Own, we, all, we all wrote our own parts. I just had the beat in, like I said, going towards whatever we was gonna put together because before the music got behind it, it was a straight beatbox. Was no music, yeah. I was the music. Mm. Wow, impressive, impressive. <laughs> um, 
So we're gonna get into to, to part two. I think I, I might be able to do this one a little bit better. Um, so supersonic is a, is a word when people start to listen, especially the bigger people that pay close attention. You might not believe it, you might not even try it. But when it comes down to our lady, then they got the beatbox. You might even try it. Um, supersonic people try to buy our rhymes. You may think that you are deaf, but you are way behind. <laughs> See, I want to wrap it, so it's not working out for me, girl. <laughs> Like, oh, you better yeah. listen close to what I have to say because when it comes to JJ Fag, you can get no play. No play. Um, <laughs> I'm the freshest DJ from coast to coast. My man can cut and scratch, but I don't mean the boat. He may be a little light, but that's okay. A little light? Oh, like with the light skin? I'm sorry. Let me keep going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Super light skin. <laughs> so he so might be a little like, who wrote that? Who fell with that? He wasn't a bright. He was light, light. Because <laughs> you know, wow. like, saying light skinned brothers or dark skinned brothers, you know. So, you know, you had to throw that little yeah. light brother up in the air. <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> I think I never realized, like, she just called him light skin all on, on public TV. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you're looking at this, bro, I'm sorry. I just, it, it just came out real petty. Like, it just really, like, he might be light skin. Okay, but so, he but who was the DJ? Style. So, <laughs> so name for was everybody that doesn't know, who was the DJ? DJ Train. Okay. Shout out to DJ Train. Yeah, rest in peace. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's what's yeah, up. Okay. That's cool. Somebody was saying that they used to listen to this at the skating rink. We really did. Mm -hmm. We was at work. It's, it's, it's like one of the songs. Roll on wheels, yep. Yeah, we was doing them shows like back to back to back. We on wheels and skate land. It was like, okay, yep. here, you there. Yep. We're on wheels. Wow, you guys were doing yeah. performances. Wait, did y'all ever do? Uh -huh. How we miss them? I, I went to the wheels. I don't. I don't know about you. <laughs> <laughs> well, clearly, I was probably at home. That's not fair. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Um, right. She said we couldn't wait for this shit to play. And EPMD, you guys to chill. So that was. <laughs> that was really <laughs> It's like when you hear this song come on the radio, no. you can't wait because you, you try to get that verse in. Like you're like all the words to this. One. Like that's too much. My chicken is super sorry. People skating around the skating ring, just thinking that those they they had. You know, you got the three homegirls and whatever. You know. <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, wait. It's my verse. Nobody wait, wait, wait. wants to do the last part. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. That's the last part. Nobody wants to do the last part because what? Yeah, it was. They didn't know what they were saying. <laughs> the summer mama do my mama? <laughs> yes. Right. So, so how did that happen? How did that happen? Because my mama was getting beats. I know you were like, you see my beat box is fresh. 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 Your mind. And if you don't like my beats, I'll go big in your behind. <laughs> 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 Never scared. Never. Somebody said this is one of the original twerk songs back then. <laughs> I mean, you could. I mean, if you so, think about it now, guys, like, yeah. What? Yeah. So, did you guys actually um, individually write any any of it, or you just it just came together? Yeah, everybody was everybody was kind of responsible for their own section, and then uh, like I wrote some of the DJ part, and then she might write some of Sassy's part. But so we all just did it together. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say, baby, so, when so you with the when whole, you did that um, last huh? Go ahead, Lai. I can hear. No, no, no. Go ahead. You're you're fine. 
they waiting on you. Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. Oh, okay, so <laughs> so when you guys actually all came to, came together at um on the on the West Coast, this is an all girl group, three members. How did how did that work? Because it's three women in a group. Sassy. Oh, me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, girls, you know, you have good days and bad days, but um, like over time, it's just like amazing now. Like these are my sisters. These are like, these girls mean everything to me. So over time, it grew, but that's just what family is. You know, you have disagreements and you know, you'll be like, I don't know, you know, blah, 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 blah. Like I can say something to baby, but, but nobody else can say anything to her, that kind of thing. So we always, um, you know, we had good days and bad days. But more good days than bad. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> so as so far as all the guys end up getting um, for this. How was like who approached what? you and said, let's put this on wax and put it on put it on the radio? Who who signed you all and, and, and did how did that come about? Easy. <laughs> we first were signed by um Dream Team Records, Rudy Pardee and Snake Tuck Peace. Rest in peace, Rudy Pardee. We signed with them first. And then eventually Eric took us over and we went to Brooklyn. We want easy. <laughs> I'm sorry, who said Eric? We want easy. easy. Eric. Easy. <laughs> what, Eric? Oh, wow. Well, that's something I didn't know either. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's that's cool. So so after so after that first you signed with the first one that you guys got with, with Easy E, and, and is that when it took off, or was it already yeah. taken off before you guys got to um, Eric? That, that's when it took off. Yep. I remember there was a little buzz, but you know, was it just really took off when we went to Ruthless? Yeah. yeah. And, I and I don't. So when you guys like the first. Go ahead. So were you guys like the first females on their label, like the first female group on their label? Yeah, we were also the first act, period, to come out of Ruthless. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Look, shout out for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, That's some good background information. What'd you say? I, we opened and we unlocked the doors for Ruthless. Don't right. say that. Well, that part. <laughs> West Coast represent with a little wheezy man in the back. That's sorry. I'm with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still tripping so off that song. How was? Uh oh. Sorry. My dog is barking. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put my mute my mic on mute. And then there's that. Okay, I got it. <laughs> So, so how did the whole album come together? Did you guys already have music laid out, or how how did that work? JB, what um, she she muted herself. I muted myself because of the dog, so somebody else can answer. Oh, okay, I'll take the slow bus sometime. Uh, <laughs> um. So we, um, not supersonic, we're going, like, have we out, when did we go into the studio with Dre and them? To be honest with you guys, I can't, like, I can hear you, but it's so static -y. like, I can't really hear you, Michelle. I hear you talking, but I, uh -huh. I can't hear you saying. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so her question, can you hear me? Her question was, um, with the whole album, like, did you all already have songs ready for the album or did you have to work hard? Like, how long did it take, basically, for you guys to put the album out? Oh, it took us a while to get it yeah. out. And they worked us to death, best believe. Dr. Dre and uh, Ice Cube and uh, The Doc and all of them, they had parts of our album. Mm -hmm. We wrote um, some, but they also took part in writing some as well right and woo, let me yeah. tell you we had to say they stuff trust and believe they, they like, right you thought you had a hard time well, when you were reading that yeah, you, had to, like, you had to get it right i mean we had late, late nights we had no no sleep i'm, I'm talking about you had to get it right or go home wow <laughs> it was 
So, so, so what I'm hearing is y'all were like, y'all were like the, the female group in the May, in May was, uh, I, <laughs> they were I'm not talking about the violent part. I'm talking about the hard work, guys. I'm just saying. No, like, no, 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 no. <laughs> they definitely uh, somebody wants to know, um, on the Sonic movie, are they using your guys' song? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I, I, I didn't hear she I me. hear that fatty. I can hear it now. It's really like choppy. Oh. Um, so she wants to know was it in the Sonic movie, are they using your guys' song? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Um, All right. And, and so you guys you offer that? I didn't hear you. What did you say? Can you hear? Can you hear, Jamie? Did you, you guys? I didn't hear, but I just have my mic muted. The dog, the dog will start barking. It's all good. <laughs> dog, like so. Oh, you on the phone now? Oh, you doing interviews? Oh, okay. I want to be down. Wanna, you gonna hear me? <laughs> Put me on the track. <laughs> So, so with the movie, did they ask you guys prior to, like, did you guys already notice in advance? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh. That's awesome. Super Sonic and Sonic the Hedgehog. Like, it's, it's crazy. Because I, just, I just want to say like, that, that's awesome. Um, I don't want to skip this because I want to get to this last verse, uh, Baby D, because I want to say, like, you was like the female twister, how fast she was rapping. It was like so swiftly at that. Like, what is it? I'm like, man, I still don't got it. And it's been years. It's been years, and I still don't. I still don't have it. Um, <laughs> so, I always ask this this one question to everybody that comes on um, the show. Um, at what point did you guys know that you were famous? Like, when did you know, like? Like was it when the radio when the song was on the radio? Did a fan come up to you and ask for your autograph? Like what happened to when you you individually were like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm good. Okay. I, I'm gonna go with well, we, we were super ecstatic, happy when we heard it on the radio. Like that was like the ultimate, like, yes. But we knew we were famous in my eyes was when we was nominated for the Grammy. In my eyes. Mm. I don't know That's about That's fine. I and think for me, you know, even though Will, Will um, Smith won, but we were nominated. <laughs> so at that point, when you go to the Grammys, you, you mm -hmm. somebody, you know, That's you true. nominated for a Grammy? Yes. I mean, but like, like I said, when we heard on the radio, it was like, yes, yeah, you, you know, <laughs> hey, calling home and all that stuff. So that was a thing. That was just like, woo. But like I said, I think when we were nominated for that, Right, that's what put the icing on the cake. I think for me, it was it wasn't till like after like until after the song had kind of simmered down some, and we were um, back at home not touring as much. It wasn't until we started what we lovingly call our second career because we still do shows and stuff. Um, that I realized how long we had gotten. I don't think when it was happening, I think it happened so fast and the notoriety and stuff like that. I just thought that that was how it was supposed to be. But after, you know, like having it die down and then, you know, rise back up again, I realized the magnitude of how long it was. All right. That's, that's awesome. <laughs> I know your dogs is barking in the background here, but you can you can still go. We'll, we'll block it out. <laughs> okay. I, now I can't see you. It's so weird. Hold on. Oh my gosh! I'm so sorry, you guys. We can see you. We can. See oh, you, you can see me. We, it, you're good. Okay, I can't see you. I can't see you guys. But anyway, I can hear. So go ahead. They asked. Uh, so the question was, at, at what point did you know that you were famous or that you had reached, you know, what what you consider to be famous? Like, was it a fan asking you for your autograph? Like, what made you realize, like, man, like, this is it? I think the first time for me was um, when I first heard it on the radio. 
that's when it hit like, oh, wow. Like it's playing on the airwaves. That's crazy. That's when that first was like, okay, this might really be something. Wow. <laughs> that's amazing. That's, that's, that, that's awesome. Cause I've, I've, I've never done anything like that, but I can imagine what it's like to hear yourself on the radio, like run through it, tell everybody like, I'm on the radio, listen, they're about to play, they're about to play. You know, back back so when we were coming up, when the songs that you like came on the radio, you had to have that tape in, waiting like oh, big and fat is next to stick. Yeah, you got to that record, <laughs> and you had to try to hurry up and get it for the DJ. Ran into the next song and start talking like, "Pause." Like, yep, got that JJ bag. Yeah, I got it on this tape. Right. Yes. <laughs> right. And it look, and it always happened like that on ninety nine one on KGGI. Every time I try to get it. KGI will cut it off on the end part. <laughs> <laughs> Never got the full song from the radio. The disrespect. That was funny. So, so Supersonic actually, um, it wouldn't go, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And you got, and you guys sold over a million copies. Yep. So Amazing. you know it's. It's it's still like a like a classic today. Um, do you guys get people like reaching out to you saying like, oh, you know, my my son or daughter listens to your song, or you know, do you guys get stuff like that? We do. Yeah, we get that all the time, especially since the Sonic movie came out. We got like a whole new generation of fans, so it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. It's true. That's, that's, yeah, that's that 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 right there is awesome. So when you guys hear the song on the radio, I, mean, I don't know if you listen to the radio or anything like that. Do, <laughs> like do you just be like, man, like like get that nostalgic moment of like, man, they still playing this on the radio. Like it's still yes. it's still bumps. Like it does. It does. I'm gonna hang up and try to sing that last verse one more time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still stuck on that. I'm still stuck on that. Like. Bad, I can't get that up. And then the, the one, the one verse when you be like, when you guys say, um, hold on, I gotta find it. Um, oh, it's still baby, it's like when big everlasting is, <laughs> they can hear what I say fast and I can say it. Like, it's like, <laughs> now, now, wait, is that well, a guys, disc? Because it also sounds like a like, disc. Did you know somebody with big ears or? <laughs> This is low key a roasting song. I just want to. <laughs> you guys, I might go out and come back in. Is that okay? Can I do that? Will it mess anything up? That, that's fine. That's okay. fine. You can do that. Okay. All right, you're, take her out of there. <laughs> All right. So, uh, you said the big everlasting is. Yes, that's like a low key. <laughs> Let me go into this other verse though. When y'all go into the, the definition, the S is for super and the U is for unique. The P is for perfection and you know that we are freaks. The E is for exotic and the R is for rap. Pause, pause. The P is for perfection and you know that we are freaks. The E is for exotic, come on now. Professional explain, freaks. explain. Look, no, and we didn't know nothing about that. We was young. Girl, I act like you don't know nothing about that. Yeah, the professional freak. Mm -hmm. 
We do have do it first. I'm, I'm so innocent that when I'm ready right now, I, I blushed a little. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, I don't even know you, but I know that that's not the truth. <laughs> Look, that part. <laughs> you don't see that halo right here? It's not showing. It is kind of gone, baby. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> but then now, uh, now, now so like no, like just when you read it, you like the P is for perfection, and you know that we are free. The E is for exotic. Like we have no business listening to that. <laughs> <laughs> so who actually what wrote this What else are you gonna put for E though? Like think about it. What other word were you gonna right? put for E? That's what I said. Everything. <laughs> there it is. Everything. See. The e is for everything. <laughs> <laughs> don't rhyme. <laughs> at all. At all. You could have said you the guys P is for perfection and that. you know that we are. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> what did you say, Lock? Neat. Look, neat. Yeah, neat goes. You, you could have used neat. <laughs> yeah, that works. <laughs> <laughs> you could have said the P is for perfection, and you know that we are geeks. You didn't have to say freaks. Wow. <laughs> We're geeks. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh, Listen, I'm trying to come with all kinds of words from our virgin ears. Okay. Rapping the way we rap, and now we're gonna rap about being geeks. Um, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> So, so do you guys do personal so shows? Like, do anybody call you up? Like, yo, I'm having a wedding. Can you guys come perform at my wedding or my birthday party or something? Do you, do you guys get those kind of crazy requests? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, believe it. <laughs> I just want to know so about who, how much so it costs. <laughs> 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 Not saying I'm thinking about it. I'm, I just want to know, you know, for the people. Like. I'm asking for a friend. We'll talk. Friend. We'll talk backstage about how much that goes. Right. That's funny. I, I was just so, asking. Okay, I was so the rest of the video the other day on the internet, and it had like a Tupac impersonator at this wedding, and I'm like, people do that, like. These people were so excited about this Tupac impersonator. And I'm like, so they just be wanting people to just perform at their stuff. So you just gonna you just want a Tupac that bad. I was like, I oh. don't So when I thought about that, I was like, well, do they do weddings or stuff? Because that would be cool, kind of cool. <laughs> All right, look, so who um as far as the album, like who was producers on it? Was it it's still just um, Dre and, and you guys, or was it other people that produced songs on the on the album? Yeah, pretty much everybody on Ruthless had a little bit in the album. Dre, Eric, UVE, Q, DOC, us, uh, Rin. Everybody had a little bit. They contributed. Arabian Prince, Yella. Everybody contributed. It was a family effort. Oh, that's awesome. So, so, what, guys, um, uh, so what is going on? Talk with some of them? Say again. Do you guys still talk with some of them? On occasion. I just talked to Yella the other day. An Arabian tour with That's it? cool. Oh. So what's going on for you guys now as far as um, are you guys doing stuff individually or as a collective? Well, before COVID came, we still were touring. <laughs> we were doing that. <laughs> um, so so we kind of waiting for that. Um, we had a lot of shows that were canceled because of it. Uh -huh. And they even tried to like postpone them. But now it's just like hanging on and hanging on. So we'll see what happens once people. I just want to say that when you guys come to Phoenix, because that's where I'm at, or y'all go to LA. <laughs> Where La is at, just remember Tamarisha and Latifah so that we get them backstage passes. We just gonna walk up and be like, yo, they know us from Vinyl Conversation. They said we come <laughs> And look, Phoenix got a bad outbreak. Tell your people to wear their masks. <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix got a bad 
You ain't <laughs> never lied. Listen, out here, there was never a lockdown. I'm going to go ahead and tell you, like, they were like, go ahead and stay in the house, be in the house at eight o'clock. First of all, we wasn't really doing nothing before that. But as soon as you told us what we can do, it was like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> we, don't do it. <laughs> we just did like no one so you- paid no attention. We just got in the car, did whatever, went wherever, and just. And that's why COVID's rampant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry. So are you guys we, working we, on we new music? It. Is there new music in the world right now? Yeah, we're thinking about it. We're just trying to figure out what direction we want to go in. You know, it's kind of hard when you have a fan base. You don't know if you want to go and do the same music and appeal to your fan base or if you want to get new fans and do something different. So we're just trying to figure out what direction we want to go in before we dive all the way in. Plus, we've been so busy with shows and being on the road that, and we all work. So it's kind of hard to, to make the time to get that done. Okay. All right. That makes sense. But you know, the fans, they're going to love it regardless. So whatever you guys do, you bring it. Fans is there. Yeah. Especially the with having that there, new so. fan base now. You know, these young kids are demanding. They were like, y'all put me on something. I'll put me on something. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. All right. So yeah. on that note, I don't say I we appreciate do. y'all coming through. Don't forget about my backstage passes when y'all on the show. Remember the name. When we be like, these girls out here, they keep tripping. Who is it? Like, yeah. <laughs> I can't. I get my you virtual. Know, I need my real, uh, my real autograph. I don't want a virtual one. I want a real one. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, so so can you guys give us like all your social media handles so everybody know where to follow you guys at? Everything is at JJ Fad. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right, we'll put that in the notes. Yeah. All right, so oh, that, on that on TikTok, it's at official JJ Fad. Okay. Oh wait, so you guys on? TikTok oh, y'all doing TikToks? Let me go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get them to do more. I end up doing most of them. <laughs> I feel like they look like I don't take that. <laughs> I don't take that. I'm, I'm trying to get them on board. I'm trying. I'm not a savage. Uh, listen, I'm telling you right now, baby, didn't do it. She had TikTok. She was like, mm, not me. <laughs> <laughs> When we get together, so, we all so gonna do one. They just don't know it yet. That's the plan. That's what you're saying. Look, she announced it right here. <laughs> right here. Breaking news. You bring heard them it first. Drink. Listen, bring them an exotic drink since the end is for exotic. Bring them an exotic drink. <laughs> So are there are there any collaborations like people that you guys do want do want to work with? Like as far as the music, ahead, baby, you guys do the new stuff. Baby D. I don't I don't think she can hear me. Like is, uh, is there anyone that you guys okay. would want to work with? Go ahead, Sassy. Well, y'all know I always say Cardi. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think that she would be up for it. I think she would too. Since y'all, uh, freaks, since y'all got the freaks and the exotic, y'all can do like a WAP remix. Oh, uh, no, we're not going, we're not doing the WAP. So <laughs> <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> it's it's maybe not. Hey, as long as you don't smell like old mop, you all right. So. <laughs> <laughs> you got to walk that ass. I see where the petty come from. It's, it's, it's beaming over there. It's, it's down, right. down in, the, in my right corner. Like, <laughs> not a mop, though. Like, oh, no. Maybe I can do like a like a like a a, a supersonic remix with Cardi B. That would be dope. Try to try to keep it. Try to keep it PG, uh, PG, PGR or something. Yeah, there's yeah. no. 
No, ain't no PG with Cardi B now. Come on now. No, no. <laughs> no, we asking too much for that. Like we got we gotta at least go uh PG 13. But the thing is, I like the way she keeps it real. That's what I really like about her. So yeah. whatever it would have to be, it would have to be. You know, she's gotta be herself, and I like that about her. Supersonic remix. I'm telling y'all, she'd be down for it. Let her do her own little uh her verse. Well, you asked about that uh he is for perfection, and you know that we are freaks line. So I mean, she could she <laughs> could know, she I'm could do a hook right after that. You know what I mean? She Break down know. Cardi B. The C is for mm -hmm. you know, A is for hey, we know what the B We know what the B and the D. And the D. <laughs> <laughs> We're not, we not going to do it. Hey, look at That's but no conversations after dark. We just spoke that into existence. It's going to be a real quick <laughs> super signing with Cordy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, well, look, ladies, we thank you guys for coming through. We thank you. We thank, thank you. you. Very thankful. Thank you for having us. This was fun. I hope you guys had fun. We, we did. did. Except for the dog barking. <laughs> <laughs> look, yeah, it's all good. We did make it up. You think that's how it's cool. The dog was on the trap. <laughs> this, this is a new reality, you know? Mm -hmm. People. Uh, right. It is what it is. What it is. I, I call different businesses and they let you know in their disclaimer, you know how you have to come up with a disclaimer at the beginning? They say, mm -hmm. a lot of our agents are working from home, so you may hear unusual noises in the background. Like, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. This is what, this yep. is what the reality is now. People are... Wow. Here, and life still happens. <laughs> so, yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, you gotta keep you gotta make that bread. <laughs> so, like, like, like your granddaughter. <laughs> I heard you talking about your granddaughter earlier. <laughs> yes, yes. 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 All right. So, look. So, on that note, what we do towards the end of the show with all our guests, we ask them to take us out on either a verse or a lyric or whatever, you, whatever you want to do. So, you guys can take it away. Take us on out. Do you think? We'll do the beginning. Oh, okay. It's gonna sound funny because we all have a delay. Okay. But um, <laughs> let let Baby DB box us out. No, just go. No, okay. Just, just keep going. You know, just stay on beat. We're yeah. Just go. You can do it. We're JJ Fat, and we're here to rock. Rhymes like boss could never be stopped. <laughs> See, it's three of us, and I know we're fresh. Party rockers, my stoppers, and my name's a death. Peace, a death for just the other for jamming. The ever's for fresh A N D death. The high turn tables is DJ Train. Mix the dance, scratch it, the name of the game. Now, now here's a little something about nosy people. It's not real hard. It's plain and simple, baby D. Baby D. <laughs> Super Sonic. <laughs> that was so sketch. Oh, wait. Okay. Thank you, ladies. Everybody. Thank you. Love you. Have a great day. Take care. Stay Bye. safe. Bye. 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 Oh, wow. That was awesome. <laughs> That was nice. That was nice. That was nice. The ladies came fun. through and blessed us. Yeah. Oh, you know what happened in the group? Somebody was saying, what is that chewing? It was, oh, yeah, it was kind of some kind of noise in the background. I it think was, it might have been her. Maybe, I think it was her connection. So. Yeah, I think so, too. But yeah, it's awesome. When she first came on, it was like, choppy. So I didn't want to, you know what I mean? Because we couldn't risk having her come back, leave, and then, you know, not be able to come back. So we had right. to fight through it. I think we did good fighting through it, though. I think we, we did okay. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Man.
But look what we had to do, though, because, you know, they were supposed to come on two weeks ago. So instead of, you know, just having um, Baby D and um, Joanna on, you know, we wanted to have um, Sassy on, too. So that's why we postponed to today to have all three members on. Only to have one today and then have another one. Man, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. Mike Royal Jazz fans. I want to see some different. I want to see all the same members plus some other people um, watching tomorrow. Um, show some support for that. Because yeah, Mike Phillips is, oh, <laughs> you not knowing. You, Google Mike Phillips. Google him. Saxophone. Google. So you look know. at you. <laughs> I ain't going to say nothing. I'm saying it now, so I'm getting it out the way. Um, but thank y'all for tuning in. It was a bomb show. It was awesome. They were very awesome. They have really great energy. Um, the fact that they're still friends even after that, because most groups, you know, they they don't stay together. Right. Over time. Great. So it, it's great to still see them um, loving on each other and calling each other sisters. Um that was a really great show. We appreciate y'all tuning in with JJ Fad. Um, don't forget that remix coming with Cardi B. <laughs> look, look, we producing. <laughs> Listen, I want some credit for coming up with the idea. <laughs> but wait, but wait. Okay, I'm still, I'm still stunned about this whole supersonic is from Sonic Burgers. Man. What? Man. <laughs> and then easy, easy, like they dropped two bombs. I was like, wait, what? Oh, okay. Sonic burgers, y'all. Sonic burgers. Some we didn't even have on the West Coast when that came out. We right, no, no. But actually, Sonic Burgers was um it's Carl's Juniors. That's that brand. Yeah, not the same. See the there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just same. say it. Not the same. Jack and the Crack and Sonic, they got they get their food from two different manufacturers. They might have the same mama, but they ain't got the same daddy. No, I'm saying Carl's Jr. Carl's Jr. They is Sonic. Got, they ain't got the same daddy. <laughs> they got the same mama, but they ain't got the same daddy. I'm just letting y'all know. Jack in the Box, Sonic, they not they not even. They not Why the do you keep saying Jack in the Box? <laughs> I mean, Carl Jr., I'm sorry. Same difference. Carl Jr. and Sonic got a different daddy. <laughs> Look, the plus they got them slushies because Carl Jr. ain't got them slushies. <laughs> Again, different daddy. <laughs> Yeah, so that look, so that was an interesting tidbit because I mean I never knew that. Like supersonic, supersonic burgers. Supersonic burgers. It's like Sonic. Sonic, she the way she's like, yo, Sonic Burger, like, okay, Sonic, shout out to Sonic and Sonic the Hedgehog. Look, that game, Sega, Sega. <laughs> I was an addict. That was the I game. Was, I was an addict. Look, that right. was the game. Getting them I rings and punching the cold thing. Wow. <laughs> Until you run into something and they all fall out. Now you all <laughs> Yeah, but the best part was when it came on. It said Sega. Yep, every time. <laughs> they don't do that shit no more. They like, just turn the game on. Turn right, on. yeah, that part. All yeah. right, I already know. All right, so look, so just, you know, again, so tune in tomorrow, but it's at 1 p.m., 1 p.m., Mike Phillips, 1 p.m. tomorrow. And then on Sunday, we got CeCe Peniston. All right. So we thank y'all and we'll see you tomorrow. Peace.